things theology, all things theology We chop it up properly, without an apology Gotta give doxology to God hollow Because this is how we do it at all things theology Yo, grace and peace, welcome back to another episode of All Things Theology, where I'm your host K-Dub, and today, I want to talk about Tom Brady. But before we do that, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you're not, always click that notification bell so you can be aware when I drop new content. Yes, I want to talk about what we can learn from Tom Brady's divorce, but from a Christian perspective. You know, some of you may be asking, who in the world is Tom Brady? But just in case you've been living under a rock for the past 20 years, Tom Brady is the NFL quarterback for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, where he has been spending the last three seasons. Before that, Tom Brady previously spent 20 years with the New England Patriots. That's right, two whole decades. Some of you haven't even been alive that long. Tom has the NFL record for the most games started games won, passing yards, passing touchdowns, Super Bowl wins, most honestly, the list will be shorter to see what records he hasn't broken. So due to this amount of success, I think it's safe to say Tom Brady has dedicated a lot of time, energy to the game of football. I don't think it's even an exaggeration to say Tom Brady is obsessed with winning. But the same thing that has made him great in football is destroying his marriage. The 45-year-old quarterback still believes he has a lot to give as a quarterback in the NFL and has expressed the fear of retiring from the sport altogether. I have a lot to give, and I think there's a lot of time and energy still focused on being a great quarterback, that when that's done, although I'm a little fearful of it ending, I am open to the belief, and I, and I really believe it happened, there'll be a lot of opportunities for me to do things that I haven't had a chance to do that I really think I can really help a lot of people. Maybe asking yourself, what's so bad about this? How is Tom's greatness a problem in his marriage? Well, here's the issue. His wife is very concerned. Although Giselle has been very supportive of her husband's career, you can see that throughout the years, she desires Tom to be more in the home as well as being present in the family and not just in his obsession with the sports. It was up to my wife. She would have me retire <laughs> today. She told me that last night three times. Okay. And I said, too bad, babe. You know, yeah. I'm having too much fun right now. And, um, you know, I feel like I, I can still do it. In an interview with LE Magazine, Giselle stated, Obviously, I have my concerns. This is a very violent sport. And I have my children. And I would like him to be more present. I have definitely had those conversations with him over and over again. But ultimately, I feel that everybody has to make a decision that works for them. He needs to follow his joy, too. So you clearly see there uh, Giselle expressing her frustration that she wants Tom to be in the home. And I believe that's a good desire. And it's caused it seemingly causes friction in the home. Giselle goes on from that interview and says, I've done my part, which is to be there for Tom. Seeing my children succeed and become the beautiful little humans that they are. Seeing him succeed and being fulfilled in his career. It makes me happy. At this point in my life, I feel like I've done a good job on that. It seems if I'm not trying to read in this, but it seems that Giselle feels alone in uh, this one sided relationship. She's supportive for Tom. She's raising the children. She's being there for the family. And notice her end quote was, I feel like I've done a good job on that. And it seems to reflect Tom has it. What a good teaching opportunity here for Christians. That putting our job, our careers over our family, our spouses, our children can cause this tension. Wives desire to be loved, cared for. Children need to be raised. They need a father present in the home. It reminds me of Ephesians chapter 5 and also chapter 6 where the Apostle Paul says to Raise, fathers are to raise their children up in the instruction of the Lord. I believe that requires being actually present in the home uh, and, and to instruct in our wife, Ephesians 5, to wash them with the water and the word. All this requires you to actually be present. I, as a man, understand the tension of this as, you know, desiring to uh, provide for your wife, being a hard worker. But at the same time, my primary duty is to raise my family and to be there for them. Um, I don't know all the dynamics of the Brady's home, 
But I hope that, you know, we can learn from this. I believe it's a good teaching example. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you're a father, hopefully this will convict you and encourage you to actually be present in the home. Thank you guys for watching. Till the next time, y'all, grace and peace.